in the St. Helens School District can now carry guns in the classroom, but will the move actually make your child safer? Ken Body has reactions from police, parents, and students out in St. Helens tonight. Game night in St. Helens. Before the school board vote allowing guns on campus, teachers, coaches, and staff would have had to leave their weapons at home. Now, if they have a concealed carry permit, they're allowed. Our teachers really are professionals, and I mean, and as professionals, they should be respected any more so than anybody else who can walk on our schools with concealed carries uh, currently. Mm -hmm. um, our teachers should be allowed that same right. The gun policy at St. Helens is now in line with what many school districts in the state already allow. I think if you had teachers with guns, you'd have a lot less rampages and incidents going as far as they've gone. St. Helens is playing Milwaukee tonight in high school football, and we wanted to go inside and talk to some parents and kids about the gun policy. But the principal asked us to leave the campus, knowing we were going to ask those questions. Obviously a touchy issue. So we talked to some parents and students just off campus. Well, there's a lot more likelier of a chance that they'd be able to take that person out before they killed a bunch of kids. Like if a teacher shot a person in front of everybody in like the class, that would honestly scar me and not like that's not okay. If they were going to have guns, they, sh they shouldn't be able to carry it on their side. They should have it in a drawer or somewhere where kids won't be able to see it. Police Chief Terry Moss says school staff may be an effective line of defense, but when officers respond, they're going to the sound of the gunfire. And that's one of our biggest fears, um, not knowing who the bad guy is. Um, mm -hmm. That's the worst case scenario. A national debate played out at St. Helens schools. In St. Helens, Ken Body, Coin 6 News.